530. It's official. Miami Art Week has begun. And over the next five days and nights, hundreds of events will be going on all over town. Tonight, two local favorite fairs are opening their doors to the art world, Winwood Walls and Art Miami. And CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo stopped by both of them today. She is live now from Art Miami at its new downtown digs. Lisa. Hi guys, yeah, unbelievable. It's not even six o'clock yet, and I've been covering this thing for years, and usually it's a trickle effect. I don't know if you can take a look behind me. Show them all a little bit, Mohammed. There are so many people here. Art is exploding all over town, and as you said, earlier today we hit Winwood Walls. These are two huge local events for a big party that's happening later tonight, and right now and right here, it's all about Art Miami. Known for its continually evolving and exceptional street art, Winwood Walls has announced a new theme for this year's Art Week. It's humankind. Goldman Properties unveiling 12 new murals Tuesday on their iconic walls. The theme was selected to infuse compassion, humanity, and empathy in today's society. New Jersey artist Joe Iorato created this piece after his own two young boys to create joyful moments to remember. It's a reminder of, you know, just taking me back to my own childhood and kind of unlearning a lot of things that we learn as we get older and going back to a very simple place where you're just having fun and you're discovering and you're being curious and I think every child deserves that. After Tuesday night's VIP party, the Winwood Walls are free and open to the public during Art Basel. Over at Art Miami, returning for its 28th edition in an entirely new waterfront home, the former site of the Miami Herald, founder Nick Korniloff continues to grow this prestigious show. So how does it feel? There's a new energy here with the water as the backdrop, right? Oh, this is a, a complete renewal for, for Art Miami. Uh, we finally have a home uh, that and an infrastructure that matches the quality of the fair. The exhibit features more than 2,000 artists between its sister fair, Context Miami, next door, and Art Miami. Direct transference of the loud music and to the loud canvas. From rock and roll to paint on canvas, former Metallica bass guitarist and Grammy winner Jason Newstead presenting his high energy paintings with proceeds going to the Perry J. Cohen Foundation. A shoulder injury moved him into the world of fine arts. You got the momentum is so important in being able to get this kind of energy and something that's not plugged in, right? That's electric. That's super electric, but it's not plugged in. This is the first year for Maddox Gallery from London to bring their super fresh and creative pieces to the fair. A clean kiss, you might say. This piece by famed photographer David Yarrow features an actual wolf on a bar in Montana. But to ensure we got the eyes um, as crisp as they are, he tied. Uh, chicken breast to uh, the top of his head to ensure the wolf would walk directly towards the camera and uh, the, uh, the, the photographer did that. That's incredible. yeah, he did indeed. Yeah. This year's show expected to attract more than 85,000 visitors to this new waterfront space. Oh, somebody can come to Art Miami and find something for a thousand dollars up to 15, 20 million dollars easily. So there's something for everyone. Something for everyone. That's yep. a classic. <laughs> yeah, $20 million on up. Well, I'm looking for the bargains. As far as celebrities, they are trickling in tonight. We hear Frank Ocean is here. Mark Anthony is supposed to make, make an appearance as well. There's some basketball players, and Leo DiCaprio might be making a show tonight. If not, he's expected to be at Art Basel tomorrow. So a big week. I expect lots of crowds and traffic, but fun. And for art lovers, it is the week to be here in South Florida, and that is why they are here and pay these big ticket prices on airfares and hotels to get here. So a big party in South Florida through Sunday. And guess what? I'll be here bringing it all to you each and every day on CBS 4 News. Back to you.